endoscopically assisted suturectomy for trigonocephaly. At birth, the skull is composed of separate skull bones that are connected with skull sutures. The sutures are the growing sites of the skull. When the frontal or metopic suture is prematurely closed, no growth can occur in between the two bones of the forehead. As a result, the forehead becomes wedge-shaped and narrow, with the eyes set closely together. This is called trigonocephaly. An endoscopically assisted suturectomy is a type of surgical procedure that can be used to treat trigonocephaly in children up to the age of six months. The goal of this procedure is to open up the suture that has closed too early to restore the growth potential of the skull. A skin incision is made behind the hairline at the top of the head. A piece of skull bone underneath the skin incision is removed. Then, a small tube with a camera, called an endoscope, is inserted between the frontal skull bone and the dura. The dura is a layer of tissue that protects the brain. As the endoscope is advanced, the dura is detached from the inside skull bone and the space in between can be inspected with the camera. Under direct vision of the endoscope camera, the frontal part of the skull bone is removed. This opens up the prematurely closed metopic suture, restoring the potential for skull growth to the sides. Then the skin incision on top of the head is closed. Approximately one to two weeks after surgery, children will start helmet molding therapy. This lasts several months and is used to help guide skull growth.